Have you ever wondered which country has the biggest economic surprises? You might think of economic giants like the United States or China. But the truth is, some of the most mind-blowing economic Guinness World Records belong to countries you might not expect. These records shatter our assumptions about wealth, poverty, and everything in between. Get ready to explore the Guinness World Records of economic extremes. We'll uncover the stories behind the numbers, from the smallest economies to the highest inflation rates. We'll journey across continents, encountering diverse cultures and economic realities. Prepare to be surprised, amazed, and maybe even slightly shocked. Welcome to Wealth Dose. Remember to like and subscribe. Let's start with a bang. Despite its economic prowess, the United States has the largest trade deficit, a record that might raise an eyebrow. In simple terms, the U.S. imports way more than it exports. Imagine a giant shopping spree year after year. In 2023 alone, this deficit reached a staggering $1 trillion. That's enough to buy every single person in Wyoming a brand new Ferrari. This imbalance reflects America's appetite for goods worldwide, from Chinese electronics to German cars. While this deficit has its downsides, it also highlights the interconnectedness of the global economy. Now let's hop on a plane and travel to the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Our destination, the island nation of Tuvalu. This tiny country with a population smaller than a small town holds the record for the smallest GDP in the world. Tuvalu's GDP is a mere $66 million, less than the annual revenue of some Hollywood celebrities. This tiny economy relies heavily on fishing, foreign aid, and the sale of its internet domain name, .tv. Tuvalu's story reminds us that economic size isn't everything. It's a testament to resilience and resourcefulness in the face of limited resources. Back to the big leagues. The world of high-stakes trading is a whirlwind of activity where fortunes are made and lost in the blink of an eye. One commodity reigns supreme in global trade, crude oil. This essential resource is the backbone of our modern economy. This black gold, the lifeblood of modern industry, is the most traded commodity in the world by a long shot. From extraction to refining, the journey of crude oil is a complex and fascinating process. Millions of oil crisscross the globe daily, fueling our cars, powering our factories, and shaping geopolitics. The logistics involved in transporting this vital resource are staggering. The sheer scale of the oil trade is mind-boggling. Tankers the size of skyscrapers navigate the world's oceans, ensuring a steady supply to meet global demand. In 2023, the value of global oil exports reached over $2 trillion, more than the entire GDP of Italy. This staggering figure underscores the immense economic impact of the oil industry. This massive trade flow highlights our dependence on fossil fuels and the urgent need for cleaner, more sustainable energy sources. The transition to renewable energy becomes ever more critical as we look to the future. Hold on to your wallets because things will get wild. Hyperinflation is not just a term from economic textbooks. It's a real and terrifying phenomenon that can turn lives upside down in a matter of months. Imagine a loaf of bread costing a million dollars. It sounds like a dystopian nightmare, but it has been a harsh reality for some. That's the harsh reality of hyperinflation, a rapid and uncontrollable price rise that can decimate an economy. When prices skyrocket, the value of money plummets, making everyday goods unaffordable. And believe it or not, it's happened in recent history. Countries like Venezuela and Zimbabwe have faced this economic disaster, leaving their citizens struggling to survive. In 2008, Zimbabwe experienced one of the worst cases of hyperinflation ever recorded. The inflation rate reached an astronomical 89.7 sextillion percent per month. Prices soared by billions of percentage points, wiping out savings and plunging the country into economic chaos. Store shelves were empty and basic goods became luxuries. People carried around bags of cash to buy basic necessities. 
Imagine needing a wheelbarrow full of money to purchase a loaf of bread or a carton of milk. Zimbabwe's experience is a stark reminder of the importance of sound monetary policy and the devastating consequences of economic mismanagement. It highlights the need for governments to maintain control over inflation to protect their citizens' livelihoods. Gold, the ultimate safe haven asset, has captivated humans for millennia. Its allure is timeless, transcending cultures and eras. Gold has always been a symbol of wealth and security from ancient civilizations to modern economies. And some countries are particularly fond of it, accumulating vast reserves of this precious metal. Nations like China, Russia, and India have been increasing their gold holdings, seeing it as a hedge against economic instability and currency fluctuations. The United States holds the largest official gold reserves in the world, with over 8,000 tons of this shiny stuff locked away in Fort Knox and other secure locations. This massive stockpile is a testament to the country's historical reliance on gold as a financial cornerstone. That's enough gold to make a solid cube the size of a house. Imagine such a structure's sheer weight and value, a tangible representation of immense wealth. These reserves, a legacy of the gold standard era, represent a significant portion of the world's total gold supply. They serve as a buffer in times of economic uncertainty, providing a sense of stability and confidence. While the US dollar is no longer directly backed by gold, these reserves still hold strategic and economic importance. They are a key part of national security, influencing global financial markets and international relations. Gold remains a powerful tool in the arsenal of monetary policy. These mind-blowing economic records are more than just numbers on a spreadsheet. They represent real-world consequences, shaping the lives of people around the globe. The U.S. trade deficit, for example, has contributed to job losses in manufacturing. Tuvalu's tiny GDP reflects the challenges faced by small island developing states vulnerable to climate change. The oil trade's impact on climate change is undeniable. Hyperinflation in Zimbabwe caused widespread poverty and hardship. Gold hoarding, while providing economic security, can also exacerbate global inequality. It's crucial to remember the human stories behind these economic realities. As we've seen, the world of economics is full of surprises. From the smallest economies to the largest trade flows, these records challenge our assumptions and highlight the interconnectedness of the global economy. Each country has its own unique economic story to tell, shaped by history, geography, politics, and countless other factors. As we navigate this complex and ever-changing landscape, it's essential to approach economic issues with curiosity, empathy, and a willingness to learn. The more we understand about the forces shaping our world, the better equipped we'll be to create a more just and sustainable future for all. So, what have we learned from our journey into the world of mind-blowing economic records? We've discovered that economic surprises can be found in the most unexpected places, from tiny island nations to global superpowers. We've seen how these records reflect complex historical, political, and social factors. Most importantly, we've been reminded that economics is not just about numbers. It's about people, their livelihoods, and their aspirations for a better future. By understanding the forces shaping our world, we can work together to create a more equitable and sustainable global economy. The journey continues, full of wonder, challenges, and endless possibilities.